everybody and welcome back to BBG Drive. So continuing with the update coverage, in this video we're going to be taking a deep look at the off-road race configurations for the Gavril D series. So we're going to be starting in the remastered Jungle Rock Highlands, but later in the video we're going to be switching maps. So to start, we're going to be checking out the D15 Crawler Crew Cab. So before we start, make sure to smash like and subscribe and with this being said, I'm not going to waste your time any longer so I'm going to turn it on. Man, this is one loud boy. So yeah, let's start driving. So this boy here rolls so much. I mean, the suspension is so soft that every corner you take, it's basically a roller coaster. I mean, check this out. I'm not even going that fast. But yeah, this car is just built different. It's amazing. So this car isn't really meant to be going on airstrips. So let's head to somewhere where this car can feel at home. So, this is a nice pathway. Uh, we're rolling down. Yeah, I think they made this little ditch a bit deeper. Hopefully YouTube understands that I said ditch and not but anyways, before we go up, it's a good thing to lock our diffs, so I'm going to do it very quickly. And I turned off my engine. Nice. So, diffs are locked, engine is still off. Not anymore, and yeah, here we go. No problem at all to get out of that nasty situation. Here we go up, slow but steady. And wow, that was pretty easy. So off-roading this thing is amazing. The purpose of this car is to climb mountains and to go off-road while carrying your mates since it's a crew cab and I think it actually has five seats. L let me just check while we're on this very very safe bridge. Yeah, it, it has a bench. It actually has two benches so you could possibly fit six people in here. And if you're in Italy, you could fit eight people. And in India, man, at least 250. So yeah, plenty of space in the interior. I'm, I'm happy to see this. I'm very happy to see this. There's a tight corner here. We might be struggling because this is one long car. But not too big of a deal. Man, this is some dense foliage though. Bear in mind that my foliage setting is like one third or maybe even one fourth it's pretty low but i mean they would just bottom out i mean those are some big rocks don't get me wrong but i was not expecting to bottom out with this so i finally found some sunlight and i would like to show you some of this car's details first of all we got a new front end and as you can see it's pretty cute it's a lot narrower than it was before at the back we have not one but two fire extinguishers which officially make this car Richard Hammond proof. Yes! Good to know. And finally the last cute little detail I want to show you is these little stringy things at the back. As you can see they're dancing here, they're jiggling. I just thought it looked cool so yeah, thank me later. So you know what? Since I want to further test the brand new vehicle spawning system, I'm gonna spawn the next car we're gonna check out right here and as you can see it works fine i'm impressed i'm genuinely impressed anyways let's go with this one. Oh, that's that's a lot quicker man this is one steep road here Shit. well uh i guess we took a shortcut so compared to the wait we're back where we started Oh come on! So this here is the Rock Racer configuration for the D-Series and it's pretty cool. It's kind of a smaller brother to the big boy we tested earlier, but it has its own nice things. Let's go here shall we? Yeah why not? Can I please find a road that takes me somewhere? Please? Anyways, as I was saying, this configuration has a brand new back end and as you can see, it's narrow as the front end was and it also has a spare tire which I don't think the other one had. The special thing about this car is 
that it can do both technical slow stuff, like what I'm doing now, and it can also do scary fast stuff. It's not extra fast, but it's decently quick. So in my first impressions video, I actually passed by this structure here and I'll tell you that I wanted to check it out more, but not in this video. So <laughs> if you want to see it, make sure to subscribe. Yeah, this little machine here is fun, but personally, I prefer the Chonky Boy just because it had that massive suspension roll. Now it's time to check out the pig and... Well, this is the super pig actually. It's beefier, it's faster, it's more powerful and most importantly, it's pink. Anyways, I want to do something special with this. What the f- <laughs> Oh, what? What? Anyways, that did not go to plan. So, right here we have a waterfall. As you can see, I'm not lying. But what I want to do is get to the bottom of it with a super pig. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be very fun. Hopefully, I don't crash. So before we start, I'm going to lock the diffs. Hopefully my engine doesn't turn off this time. Nice, we did it. And yeah, let's start going. Off to a great start. So the Super Pig is famous for its rock climbing abilities. I think we shouldn't be here. All right, that fixed it. So. Uh, this is part of a technique. Wait, did I just find a secret cave? I actually did. Wow. Wait, there's more if we go down. Anyways, let's do that again, shall we? Hopefully, I can do it this time. Third attempt. I'm gonna be serious now. I'm, I'm gonna try my best. Numero cuatro. Here we go. This is the good one. I can feel it. So, very carefully here. I'm gonna try not to tip over. Alright, little pig. Alright. Well, come on, we, we made it to the bottom. Give me that at least. So, another cool thing is, look at how the windshield shatters now. That's pretty f***ing satisfying. But yeah, here we are with the engine hydrolocked at the bottom of a waterfall in Jungle Rock Island. What a time to be alive, but you know what? The climate here is a bit too humid. It's a bit too moist. So, let's go somewhere a bit drier. And yep, yeah, here we are in Ghost Desert. The Gavril D series pre-runner. This is actually what we've all been waiting for, other than the remastered pigeon. But anyways, here we are in the desert. So, with this being said, I'm gonna turn it on and I'm gonna start driving. The way it lifts never gets old, never. So, up we go. Unfortunately, this boy is rear-wheel drive, but it's not too big of a problem actually. So let's jump here. No problem for this. Once you jump it the first time, you know the capabilities this car has. The suspension just doesn't care. Actually, you know what? I I'm gonna try destroying it. Just by jumping, alright? <laughs> I'm not gonna start grabbing nodes or anything, don't worry. But yeah, I, I wanna see if I can actually abuse this thing to its end. But yeah, I'm a pretty big fan of Dakar racing, even though I've never watched it, but I just like the concept of it, and also, the cars that participate in that race are mental. But you know what? Alright, going sideways is bad. Got that. And finally, we have the extended cab version of the pre-runner, which I think is cooler. I honestly love this update. Probably one of the best ones. But yeah guys, this was it. So. Thank you so much for watching and if you enjoyed it, make sure to smash like and subscribe. But yeah, I guess I'll see you soon with some more update coverage.